Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, Chair. Good morning, Chair. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Yes. Is everything fine? No, Chair. <laughs> Why? You're not feeling away yet? I love you sitting one out again. Me too. Me too. High five. Let the cities when I let the other cities off. That's why I also I have to drive with my phone. So you cannot see my my beautiful face. <laughs> Hello, Andre. Hello, Chair. Hmm. Is everything fine? Yes. But mm -hmm. Um, can so you send the homework right? The mm. six pages, no, nine pages. I mean, do yeah. you have a file and can you send it with a file, please? Oh, uh, okay. I think maybe if to make a file, I think I need to, I mean, I need to do it again, right? Oh, oh okay, because I can just save it in the p file mm -hmm. the inside me if mm -hmm. possible, yes. Okay, so maybe if electricity is on, if I use with the laptop, I will send it to you. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. So is there anyone who haven't done your homework? Uh, is that everyone, everyone done? Thank you. Hmm. How about hand two? Oh my god, which homework? No, oh my there's, god. The, there's the two homework. The one you sent with the screenshot one and the old one. Okay, yeah. So which one you have done? I have only done the old one. The old one. Yeah, mm. then the new one is half done, not fully done. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So you mean that you mean the new one haven't done yet, right? They haven't done yet, yeah. Like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how about others? Yeah, I'm not also finished with everything, Chair. Mm -hmm. But whatever, no problems, we can work together. I just want you to practice about reading. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to answer some, some questions. Mm, it's okay, no problem. We can practice together, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. So, number one. Okay. Let me turn on the visor. Hmm, Menta. Okay, the old homework. What 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 was the old homework? Oh, you mean that page number one thirty and one three and at one three one activity eight? Can you you mean that one? Yes, that one. Uh, okay, so have you done reading part two on one three five to one forty? Okay. Is anyone who haven't done page number 132, 
Yes. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. So now let's do reading part one. Okay, you have to read the leaflet below on extreme sport and answer question number one to 10. Is that finished? So the first one almost is actually activity eight, sir. Can you start from that? Hmm? So you also give us activity eight as a homework also. Activity eight? Yes. So let me check. Do you mean page number 130 and 131? Megan, do you, do you mean that one? So oh. wait, wait. I, I just opened the file. Oh, okay. Okay, so you mean that you wanna do the you wanna do the book first, right? Sure, let's do that here. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, no problem. So if you wanna do the book first, okay, let's try the book first. So uh, page number one three one. One three one activity eight. Am I right? Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now let's do that one first. So you have to cycle the correct motor verb for each sentence, right? Number one. Okay, number one is, then it say you should and you must, now which one you choose? Do it. Must. Okay. okay. Must. Must or should. Must. Must or should. Should. Choose one. Okay. Should. So Teacher, especially. Yeah. Why is it should? Can you tell me? Hmm. Okay. So Hanju, do you want to discuss first why you choose should? Um. Because mm. what? I think in the chat. Mm? The show class. Mm. Okay. So how about Zuzu? What's your answer? Shoot. Shoot, yeah. Why why do you why did you choose shoot? Oh, because uh, the dentist is advising me to oh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. That that is that is the point, right, Andre? So this is suggestion. Maybe you uh, maybe whether doing or not is this that's your choice. So for for suggestion, we have to use should. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we use must in this matter, it mean like it is like. Um, right. Given order. Yes, more serious, right? Um, yes, like... more serious, and it's like giving order. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, what... yes. I chose must because I thought flossing twice a day is like a must thing for everyone to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. actually, you know, this is the, 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 the doctor's suggestion. That's why we have, we better choose should. Maybe everyone don't follow it, right? Everyone don't listen to it. Okay, so number two, what and could I give you a hand with that? Could. Okay, could. So let me check the people first. Andre, Hantu, Zuzu. Um, come on, come on, I still see. Mindan Elka, uh, Mindan Alinga. No, no, where is Shinten? 
Jenna is not here yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is there anyone who has different idea from in that made that choose to cook? No? You all the same? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. So number three. Wood must you give me a hand with that? Wood. Wood. Okay, why you choose wood? Because um it's not a must. Mm, okay, yeah. So it let's give to the promise. Oh sorry. Yeah, okay, let's uh let's listen to the word wood. Yes. Because um, I think the question is asking somebody that um, uh, mm. this, you know, um, as to imagine something, mm -hmm. right? In this situation, would you help me with that, like mm. that? Okay. Yes, actually, you know, in this situation, you are asking for help, right? So you must, you, you must, you, okay, you better use, would you give me a hand with that? I mean, would you help me? Okay. Must you give me a hand is that's just get like, uh, you know, maybe one, if we want to say the strong situation, we use must. Okay. Linga, you got it? Sure. Hmm. Um, so if uh, like a senior asks a junior to do this, like uh, we could use must, right? In this no, because here is a give me a hand. The meaning of give me a hand is you are asking for help. Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next one. Four, you mustn't and don't have to use your mobile phone. Mustn't. Okay, mustn't, right. So I ought to and I must work tonight. Must. Must. Okay, must. And then, you know, if you are given you, if you are reminding yourself, you, you can use must. Must is you will do it tonight, right? And if you want to give a suggestion to yourself, sometimes we use ought to. <clears throat> Maybe, for example, oh, I ought, I, I ought to make three questions for the students. Right. I, if you, if I use ought to, it means that I should. You know whether I whether I'm working or not it doesn't matter. But if I say I must, okay. So this is strong situation. Number six. Should I book or do I book? Should should I? Okay. Should I seven? We have to. We have to. We have to. Have to. Have to. Is anyone different answer? No one yet. No one yet or? Yes or no? Do you all agree to your friend? Have to? Okay, so yeah. in this, yes, no, no, right. I choose must. Must, okay, why do you choose must? Why you choose must, no, no? I, I don't know, I think it's appropriate answer. Okay, uh, and then other people said that solo <laughs> gaun uh, Okay, okay, whatever it is, um, we can use have both have to and mess here. But you think that, you know, you have already, you wanna, okay, you wanna meet your friend next week. Okay, okay, or you have something special, you have something to discuss with your friend next week. Maybe most of the time, uh, most of the people, they usually discuss their problems and they look for the and they search for the answer for the problems in maybe at, at restaurants and at coffee shop, right? So here is, if you are sure to meet 
at the coffee sh a coffee shop next week so you can use you we must right and the have to is like given a suggestion maybe we have to meet we we have to have coffee next week it is not sure if you want to use as a strong one you must choose must have coffee okay so number eight all right i suppose you can and you might go to the party we can um, of course you can right you can go to the party number nine the speed limit says you must drive at 75 kilo per hour or less yes. or you should drive or you must drive mass mass why can't you because speed limit limit okay yeah because of this is announcement yeah. Okay, announcement or this is a rules and regulation. Okay, we must follow it. Yep, and then next one. Oh, so okay. number nine answer is must, right? Of course, number nine answer is must. Uh, okay, Shinda is here again. So Shinda, now we are discussing page number 131. Okay, so now 10. Can, can I, would I? Which one you choose? Can. Can. Okay. Can I offer? 11. Might somebody let me or could somebody let me? Could. Could. Okay. Could somebody let me? 12. You mustn't eat breakfast or you don't have to eat breakfast? Don't have to. Don't have to. Have to. Have to. Have to. Okay. Number 13. Uh, should I have to finish or do I have to finish? Do I have to finish? Do I have to finish? Okay, 14. Excuse me, sir. May I or should I? May I? Yes, may, may I? Mm. And then 15. Could you make dinner or may you make dinner? Could you? Yes, could you. Could you make dinner? Right. Sure. Yep. Yes. Can I add some? Um, about yeah, of course. The Number five here. Number five, yes. What's the question? Yeah, so it said like, uh, so the answer is uh, I must work tonight. Or if there is like a, um, a reason or support after this sentence, uh, like, like you know, he must uh, he must work tonight because he has a presentation tomorrow like that. So we could we can choose a both, right? I'm, I choose I'll do this one. Mm, actually, you know, if you if you want to add it with strong uh, strong idea, like you know, okay, we blank work tonight because we have a presentation tomorrow. This is you know we have a presentation tomorrow is a strong sentence, right? You must do it. You couldn't avoid it, right? That's why in that situation you better choose must, right? If there is no any additional information. You can choose or two. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yes, well, question? Both, right? right? Yeah, you can use both. Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, okay. I was like, I was like offline minutes ago. So can you tell me what is the answer for number one? Number one, number one is should. Oh, okay. Okay. Correct. Yeah. So now, okay, um, yeah, so how many students here? Eight, including, not including me is seven. Okay, seven students. So I will give you a time, maybe about three or five minutes, right? You have to think about one of the location, one of the place, okay? But it shouldn't be very well-known place, right? Because if you, if you, how should I say, if you, Think about the very easy one. Your friend will uh, can get the place name very well, right? Easily. So just think about a little, you know, the not very well known one, but famous, but most of the people don't know it, right? So you have to think about one of the location, and then you have to write five sentences, okay, uh, to give a hint for that location, for that place. First one, you have to write a sentence with should. And then next one is two sentences with can't, and then another two sentences with can. 
right? So you must write five sentences to describe about the place you want to talk. Okay, so here you would see the example. You should see the large metal tower. You can eat, you can eat, uh, I don't know that one, and cheese. You can visit a famous art museum. You can go scuba diving. You can go snowboarding or skiing. Right, so you will, you have to say you have five sentences and your friend will listen to it and they will guess which place it is. Do you know? Do you understand what I mean? Yes, Jay. Okay, yes. so is that okay for five minutes? Yeah. Mm, okay, so now let's start. Now it's 40, so we will discuss 45. So uh, one sentence which should uh, two sentence which can and two sentence using can right? Yes, of course. So five sentences. Five sentences, yeah, five sentences to give a hint, to give hints for the location you wanna ask. And then like um, you have this... to ask. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to ask your friends. They will guess the name.
Hello, time is up. Are you there? Which almost does. Are you then? Okay, um, can you give me a minute? Yes, a minute. Yes. So, no, no. Are you then? No, you're uh, Okay, yeah, please do it quickly. Minta, Alenga, Shinta, and you? Suzu? Can you give me another 15 seconds? Oh, okay, okay, yes. And then Zuzu is done, right? So, Zuzu, you're done, right? Oh, I haven't finished it yet. Oh, okay, okay. So, so take more, take one more minute. I mean, everyone, okay? Sure, Marsha, please send it It's okay, no problem. Just only you have to, you have to read out loud and you have to ask your friends. They will listen to you and they will get what it is. Okay? Got it. Yes. So in gray. Yes, Chair. Mm. Can you 
Okay, can you ask your friends what is this about? What is your location at? How to? Mm. Only just you have to read all of your five sentences, your friends will guess it. Okay. Mm. So in this location, uh, you should go there because you should experience what it is like being on an island country and mm. you can go scuba diving. You can enjoy seeing the glowing beach. You can't wear shoes on the beach and you cannot import alcohol there. Mm. Okay. Is there anyone who can guess it? Chang the beach. Is that correct? No, sure, because it is uh, what I wrote about is an island country. So, mm, in an island, island country. Okay, yes. So, how about other? And then, can you can you think about it more? Yeah, I might know, but I, I couldn't really know the name of the country. Is it Singapore? Is it Okinawa? Okinawa. Andrew, is that no. Okinawa? Is, no. Isn't that Bali? Yes, Bali, yes, right? yes, you're right. Yes. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah. Well, what is it? Which place it is? Oh, it's, it's a Bali from Indonesia. Oh, Indonesia, Bali Island. Oh, Bali? You said Bali? I thought, oh, I heard Maldives. That's why. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so you have already answered, Andre. Yeah. Mel, Mel, Deep, Mel Dive. I'm not sure. Mel Dive. Mel, Mel, Mel Dive. Mel Dive. Mel yeah, Dive. Mel Dive. Yeah. Yes. Mel Dive. Okay. Good job. So, Andre, can you choose next? Can you choose one of your friends? Oh, Zuzu. Zuzu. Um, yes. Mm. Uh, you can enjoy. You can enjoy the view of beautiful houses, coffee shops, and red light district. Mm. It is the capital of a popular European country. So you should explore collections of fantastic art and try some traditional food. Such mm -hmm. as you can try. You can say you can try. Yes. Yeah, you, sh you can try some traditional food, such mm -hmm. as stew waffle. Mm -hmm. um, the language is speak is um, Dutch language, so okay. obviously you should know it. You, so, can't. Yeah, you can't. You can you can take pictures of the red light district. Mm. Oh, that, that, that is restricted. Yes, in that area you can take pictures. Yeah, the next one count is, you can't. Um, you can't go outside at night alone because there can be some crimes uh, take place at night, so yeah. Oh, okay, yes. Hi, everyone. Can you guess the place? <clears throat> One thing is, uh, sorry? Is... Paris? Paris, okay. And then, no, no, what did you say? London. Oh. London. The country does speak Dutch. So I think it's kind of like Belgium. Belgium? Belgian, right. Hatu, did you say something? Um, can you repeat the can you repeat it again? The points. Can you repeat the points? Can yeah. You, repeat the point? yeah. Mm. you should what you can what you can't what. Alusuzu, can you repeat your points again? Um yes, you mm. can take pictures of the red light districts windows. So mm -hmm. red light district is some uh, a place where uh, a place which is located in the city mm -hmm. of the country, and mm -hmm. the language is Dutch language. Mm -hmm. uh, Brazil. Sorry. Wait, no, not Brazil. Uh, so the so the country speaks Dutch, right? Yes. Right. He yes. said they speak Dutch so, language. Portuguese. Portuguese. No, no it's the capital of that country. Ah, uh, the capital of that country. The capital of that country or that country. Tishidi that or do you teach Dutch? 
Um, is it Lisbon? Is that correct? No, uh, I'll give you a hint. It um the country starts with a letter N. N. Netherlands. 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 Is it yes. Nigeria? Netherlands capital city. Oh, Netherlands capital city. Okay, good job. So, Zuzu, can you choose next one? Oh, Yeah, Shindan. Uh, yeah. So yeah, mm. so uh, you see, you should see the city that full with boats, and uh, you can eat pasta, pizza, and spaghetti. Mm. Also, you can visit a famous old gladiator buildings. Mm. And the two things is you can speak English and you can arrive by cruise ship. Okay, so what is it? Italy. Is that Italy? Of course, Italy. It's very obvious. Italy? Yeah, yeah it's correct. But, you know, the because it's all the pizza and gladiator. Mm, okay. Most of you are crazy of pizza, right? Yes. Mm. So how about pizza company? Is, is they open? I don't know. I mean, pizza company in Yangon, is they open or it's closed? No answer yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I forgot. Uh -huh, you forgot. Okay. If you forgot, no problem. So, can I get just next one? I do the. Okay. My turn. Oh. Yes, Andrew? You should see the old town, such as like King Castle, King Sabino. Poland or Market Square uh, and, and the Barbican. Or you can sit out in the fabulous garden or three wire rest, residences. You can also read the times on the highest clock tower in Europe. Oh, but you can yeah. drink in the public, you can still walk in. And also, I will give another hint. Mm. It, it's a city, not a country, but that city is one of the most historical city in the world. Okay, yeah. So anybody else? Um, can you repeat the key points if you don't mind? Okay. You should see the old town such as like King Castle, King. I don't know how to um, um, Can you um, just send that in the Bible group, like Margaret? Uh. So I send the point to the Bible. Okay. Thank you. Oh, King Castell. So where, where, where is the King Castell? Is it New Zealand? No. New Zealand? No. You can chill out in the fabulous garden of three of Raya residences. I will count one, two, three, one, two. Is it room? Room? No. no. Is it a city, not a country? Mm. If you learn about the World War II history, you wouldn't know what city is that. London? No, not London. <laughs> you know, mean that? Oh, wait, but the highest clock tower in Europe is in London, right? Isn't it in Northern 
Euro. The UK? No, Euro. He said Euro, right? You can also read the time on the highest clock tower in Europe. Wassel. Okay. Did someone say Wassel? Yeah, I said Wassel. Uh, Wassel, yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> very rare place. It's a move of, it's a one of the silent place in the world. One of the? Silent place. Oh. If you know about the history behind the city. Mm. Can you spell the name, please? Wassel. Wassel. No, I mean like, you know. W-A-S-A-W. You know, W-A-S-A-W. -A 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 so, Wassel. It's a mm. very tragic story. Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. So how do you finish this next? Yeah, I'm going to finish. I can't, it's not there. I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mintan haven't done. Mintan hasn't done yet. And then no, no. Mintan and no, no haven't done yet. Um, did he choose me or Yen? I choose Mintan. Uh, okay. Um, and so mine, the location is not a city and it's a country. It is really simple. Um, it's not like tricky or any of those stuff, but um, you should uh, put off your uh, shoes uh, before entering the accommodation. And you can visit to take cafe with the uh, cute little piggies that can be adopted carefully. And you can ride on a bullet train and you can eat while you're walking and have to sit somewhere else or stand if you are having a meal or a treat. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, that's it. Okay. Anybody else? When? Um, may I request to send back and to play book? <laughs> Is it began? <laughs> Is it began? Again, your friend is talking again. No, no. It's no. like, um, you know. Is it beta no something something? More than that. It is like it is. It's not a con. It is not a um city. It's a country. You know. Mm, country. Yeah. I'll give you a hint. Like, oh. Um, um, during the Asian, <clears throat> it is really historical with like many like interesting like. Uh, mm. Interest, interesting, you mean what? Interesting places? Uh, interesting places and like uh, historical people, uh, like, you know, legendary mm. people. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. You mean India? Um, not yet. Uh, is it in Asia? Mm, yeah, I could say that. <laughs> yes, I mean, yes. Is it Thailand? No. Is it Japan? Pakistan? Is it Cambodia? Cambodia? Is that Cambodia? Cambodia has to go. Is it North Korea? Wait, is it Myanmar? <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, you better answer your friend yes or no. Is it Mongolia? Mongolia? Mongolia is in Asia? Is it China? Oh, China. So, so what should I choose here? The answer is already someone told it, but like everyone is mixing the answer. Like oh my. Find out the one who got the correct answer. Yeah, what is the correct answer? You have to listen to it, and then you if you if you hear the correct answer, oh yeah, that's it, the correct answer. Even though you cannot uh, notice that who said. Someone said it. Someone said it. Someone said it. Okay. Yes. Uh huh. What is the answer? What's the answer? Japan, sir. Oh, oh my okay. God. Japan. Why, why do you say so? Japan has many Asian places. Asian people are they still there? 
You mean the samurai? Samurai. <laughs> yes, yeah. Samurai is a legendary. Yeah. That's what I'm talking oh. about. Oh. Samurai ninja. Maybe even karate. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then who is next? No, no. Uh, I think Elena haven't done yet, right? I think I don't know. Well, yeah. I was saying that, but nobody cares. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Okay, 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 okay. No, no. Yes, no, no. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you can enjoy lots of seafood there, and you can visit to the National Museum, and you can do some room manner, such as speaking loudly or over a dim. And you can well in in appropriate clothes, and you should see the large, colorful, famous tower. It it, it is the very well known city, uh, capital city. Yangon. <laughs> Yangon. Your friends say Yangon. Is that correct? Not yet. Wait, wait, wait. no, no. Can you, can you mention the fourth sentence? Yes, no, no. Your friend is asking about the fourth sentence. Can you repeat it again? Like um, the the you, last can, you can well in appropriate clothes. No, I mean larger something, something. What is that? Uh, uh, you should see the large, colorful, colorful, famous tower. Oh, thank you. You know, where is, where is it located in Asia or Europe? Asia. Uh, Tokyo. No. no. Is that Korea Seoul? Yes. <laughs> because she is crazy of Korea. Mm, it reminds me of Seoul Tower when she talks about yeah. it. Look at her profile. <laughs> okay. The Seoul Tower isn't in Japan. Hmm? I thought it was in Japan as well. <laughs> I saw that in an anime. I, I can't remember. Yeah, Seoul Tower is in Japan. Like you're talking about oh. Japanese Tower. Yeah, it, it will be Japanese Tower. So it's a so it's related to Korea. So, but Japan is not Korea. <laughs> oh, yes, Japan is not Korea. Japan is Japan. Korea is Korea. Mm hmm Okay. So and then <clears throat> sorry, next one is 135 to 140. Am I right? Hello? Uh, what did you say? Alinga. Oh Alinga. We we need Alinga. I think Alinga is there. Sorry. Oh, oh yeah. Can... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So you mean that you haven't done? Yeah, I don't think Alinga I've done yet. I haven't done, but it's okay to skip me. Yeah, 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 no problem. No, 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 no. We don't, we don't want to skip you. Okay, we want to, I want to give you a chance. Okay, Linga, let's listen to you. Okay, um, you should see the longest coastline in the world. And you can review the millions of lakes. And you can see the Narragara Fall. And you can disrespect Mabel's work. And you can talk shit about Tim Hortons. Yeah, what is uh, Is that Canada? Oh my God, yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Why do you know that is Canada? Because I heard the Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls, yes. Mm. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. Okay, yes, great. Thank you so much. And then now let's move on to one, three, five. Okay. Question number 11 to 20. Have you finished 11 to 20? Hello, is there anyone who haven't done question number one, uh, 11 to 20? Are you then? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sure. Mm. 11 um, to 20. 
Jie Jie Ming, the practice time, I mean, reading part two. Okay. Yes, yes, practice That's time one, it. reading part two. Okay, so now let's answer the question. Answer the following question. For each question, you have to write no more than three words taken from one point in the text. Do not write full sentences. Number 11, how does the writer describe the change over to driverless car? Game changer. Okay, game changer, right. Did you see the answer in the passage? Yes, DJ. Mm. Passage, num passage line, line number? Um, three. three. Yeah. Two and three, right? Yes. This is a game changer, right? Number 12, where have driverless cars mainly appeared until now? Sci-fi films. Mm, Sci-fi films. The answer is? Fault lines, right? Line number four. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Number 13. What is the earliest change made to cars mentioned by the writer? Power steering. steering. Mm, power steering. Where's the answer? Number eight. Line number, Line number eight. eight. Okay, good job. And then 14. What cost relating to energy is mentioned by the writer? The right cost. Hmm? The right? The right cost. Oh. The right cost. What cost relating to the energy is mentioned by the writer? Congestion. Okay, congestion. Yes, line number 11. Congestion is massively expensive, both in terms of direct cost or your wasted fuel. Especially congestion is related to the fuel. Fifteen, what would increase if most cars on motorways were driverless? Road capacity. Road yes, capacity. that is the problem. That will be your problem. At the line yes. 17. Line 17. Hmm. Okay, University of Texas study suggests that if 90% of cars on motorway were self driving, road capacity will be double, right? So, sister, in which environmental improve would driverless cars bring about? Less, uh, less pollution. pollution. Yeah, of course, like, of course, correct. Less pollution. 17, which negative emotional state does the writer mention? Road rage. Mm -hmm. Road rage or like a stressful? Yes. Mm. They are part two yeah. positive answer, right? Yes, it's Then 18, how are people most likely to use the time gaining Gained by not having to drive? Using social media. media. Okay, social media or using social media. And then 19, which two advantages of not driving may appeal more than an idea? Convenient and ease. Convenient. Convenient is a noun form, right? Convenience, not convenient. Convenience. If yeah, convenient, convenience and ease, right? Twenty. How does the writer describe driving before the eighties? For the joy. Yeah, for a joy. Now one through seven, twenty-one to twenty-five. According to the writer, the introduction of driverless car is terrifying or inevitably inevitable, revolutionary or fictional. Which one? Okay, why do you say so fictional? Hello, why do you say so fictional? Mm 
because it contains our uh, feelings, emotions, and also uh, as research. Uh huh. Okay. So how about who said revolutionary? I think Alenga or someone else. Oh, yeah, I said revolutionary. Okay. Why do you say so revolutionary? Because it is gonna be a new experience for all of us. And then yeah. next change in, right? Yeah. Okay, to change something. Okay, we, if we're gonna if we're gonna change something, it looks like so revolutionary, right? And it's not easy to change the people's habits, right? And then why you why we say so like a revolutionary is it mentioned the what is uh, happening in the beginning. And then later on, we can see the improvement or differences between, you know, begin and the end. That's why we can say that this is revolutionary. 22, the first kind of benefit the writer mentioned is financial benefit or aesthetic benefit or environmental or political, which one? An environmental benefit. Okay, why do you say so environmental benefit? Uh, the writer mentioned about um, less efficiently fueling mm -hmm. and pollution. Okay, so how about others? Mm. How about others? No one else? A financial benefit. Okay, what do you say? So financial benefits. Um, uh, because he has mentioned that uh, for a start, the economic upsides are huge. Hmm. And also, he has mentioned direct cost and indirect mm -hmm. cost. Mm hmm. Okay, so you know, some of the students would think that page number line number 22. Do you see line number 22? And then in the question, the last second was it the first benefit, right? First benefit. Do you have to think about first benefit? Which one is first benefit? Okay, line number 22, this, uh, that's only the beginning. They'll be driving much more QA efficiently too. So which will mean less pollution. Okay, so fuel efficiently, okay, much more QA efficiently. And uh, that's his first one. And then next one is less pollution becomes a second benefit, right? So we have to, uh, we have to think that, you know, the first one fuel, what is it? Mm. Fewer efficient. Yeah, fewer efficient, right? Fewer efficient is supporting to become less pollution, right? That's why we better choose financial benefits. Okay, in 23, for the writer, a major advantage of using computer to drive will be, what is it? Will be efficient driving. More? More efficient driving. More efficient driving, okay. Why do you say so? Why do you think more efficient driving? Uh, can you give me a second, please? Because I am finding it again. Of course, of course. Yep. So how about other? Do you have different answer or the same with uh, Zuzu? Yeah, the same with her. Hmm. So why? Why do you get that answer? Can you tell me why do you say so? I'm not sure. Uh, let me check it again, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So Nuno, Andre, Shanta, Hantu. What's your answer for 23? So can you give me a second? I'm finding reasoning. Okay, good job. And then by the way, let us see this on, right? So I will come and do one again. Are you done? Yes, Kisha. Hello, Zuzu. Have you got the answer? Yes. Okay, so where is it? Driverless cars will mean not only a smoother, faster journey, but more hours to use productively. Mm. Can you tell us the line number? 35. Line number 35. <clears throat> uh, driverless car will mean not only a smoother, faster journey, but more hours to use productively. Okay. Is there anyone who has different answer from Suzu? You're the same. Okay, so number 24. The writer describes his current experiences of walking and cycling as healthy and pleasant, relaxing and noisy. And pleasant. And pleasant. Yeah, why do you say so? Can you? So wait. Huh? Sorry. Could you give me a second so I can find the paragraph of the letter? So no. Of course. Yeah. Uh, in um, uh, line number 33 and uh, 33 and 34. Like, 33 um, and 34, yes. Yeah, who actually like walking or cycling will oh, not have to do so in a sort of the burns and uh, hydro burns and uh, road rates. Yes. Mm. Yeah, because it showed that unpleasant situation, right? Indeed, yeah. Right, okay, good job. So 25, the writer imagined that in the future, his son will think that people driving cars was a waste of time, was a pleasant activity, was ridiculous and required skills. Which one? Ridiculous. Was ridiculous. Was ridiculous, yes. Why do you say so ridiculous? Line number 56. 
line number 56. Mm. Okay, which word, which word set? Ridiculous. How absurd and yes. dangerous and silly. Mm. Okay, how absurd and dangerous and silly. So, okay, silly, it's all words. That's why it said that ridiculous, right? You better choose words ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. Is there any question? No, yes. Oh uh, yeah, okay. So I think we better go to practice, right? Pass paper. Sure. Oh, sure. Can I have, ask a question? Hmm. Um, what is the answer of number 17, sir? Oh, what is the answer for number? 17. 70 is, uh, there are two possibility. The first one is road range, and second one is stressful. But stressful is related to the UK and the London people, right? So road range is uh, is discussions about the general situation. So you can choose both of them. Yeah. So now let's go to the past paper practice. Past paper. Let me check the question first. Okay, the question is reading part when, am I right? Hi everyone. Is there anyone who haven't done the question? Who haven't done practice in the question? I know that hand too. And how about others? Shouldn't that no no mean that Indre Zuzu? I had already finished teacher. Okay, shouldn't that thank you. So how about no no Zuzu mean that? I'm done here. Okay, good job. <clears throat> so now let's check the answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So question number A. For question number A, you have to choose answer only from the information given in the guide. So number one, what did you answer number one? Yeah, well, which one are we talking about? The second one or the first one? Uh, first one, first one, part when. We are talking about the part when. Okay, sure. Yes. Okay. In second one, as in first one, there's a question number one to, what is it? One to ten, right? So for, yes, yeah. yeah, for the first one. Number one, where did you answer number one? B. 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 Mm -hmm. And then how about you? D. 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 Mm. Yes. D for dog. D for dog. So yes, D for dog. Uh-huh. Okay. So I will tell you all the answer when you all finished, right? When you all when you all done after uh one to ten, okay? And then number three. Oh, sorry, sorry. Number two, why do you say so D? Why do you think D is correct one? And it's hugely popular, extreme sports along the wall. Uh, yes. Mm hmm. Also, it's the popular one, so that's why I choose it. Mm hmm. Okay, let's... Yeah, uh, I choose E. You choose A, yeah, why do you choose A? The question is the most popular one, right? Am I right? Question is, 
uh, blah 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 is the most popular one you choose if you choose D okay let's go back to uh, the paragraph D paragraph C D says skateboarding originated in California in 1940 is that one is that the question hello is that the question that I said Yes, teacher. Okay, thank you. So the paragraph D is talking about skateboarding, right? Skateboarding originated in California in 1940 when surfers looked to entertain themselves. When waves were flat, nowadays skateboarding is a huge, hugely popular extremely sport around the world. It's mainly used for reaction and transport. The annual sports of competition X game has helped popularize skateboarding as a sport. Is it related to the the most popular win? Uh, not really, so. Mm. Is there anyone who has different answer? Andre? No. So you are answering the same with them? The skateboard, right? You mean skateboarding? Skateboarding is the most popular way? Yeah. Mm. So what I answer like that too. Yeah. So why you choose skateboarding is the more the most popular way? Because uh I feel like among these sports, skateboarding is like the easiest one. You can mm -hmm. enjoy it on ground. Mm -hmm. And it is also stated that it's a hugely popular extreme sport around the world. And it can also be used for transport. Of course, especially hugely popular, right? Yes. Okay, number three. I. Uh, I. Yep. So number two answer is D. Yeah. Okay. Do you, do you do you have different answer? Because you know we choose number two is uh number two is D answer because D said that you know hugely popular. In the last second words, and number two is most popular win. That's why we choose D. Uh, actually, I chose A. A. Okay, so let's think about it. Why do you choose? Why did you choose A? Which mansion the most popular? Surfing is the world's favorite. Oh, surfing is the world's favorite extremely sport and it's a test of agility and timing. Huh, okay. So, hello, others. Do you, uh, do you agree to Nunu's answer? I don't read it. But it's kind of, mm -hmm. it's kind of complicated. It's like, you know, confusing. Mm. Yeah, Shinda, why, why, do you, why do you say that? Why do you say so? This is complicated. Because it, also, you know, number D is kind of like they said that hugely popular. Also, number A is said that serving is world favorite extreme sports. So it's kind of like a little bit complex to choose. Like, it's just like the question is put a trap. To choose. Yes, yeah. So, so I actually choose skateboarding by any meaning. I don't know. Because <laughs> there are so many options to choose. Mm. Okay. So now let's compare Nuno's answer. Nuno point. Uh, Nuno points and you. Okay. Always. So Nuno said that surfing is the world famous. It's uh, because of because she chose the world's favorite extreme sport. Okay, the world's favorite. And we choose D because this is nowadays skateboarding. Oh, question. Let me check the question again. Teacher, it says the most popular one. Mm. And none of these uh, mentioned like, that. directly mentioned that. But in yes. skateboard, it says mm. X Games has helped popularize skateboarding. So it's, mm. it might be possible. 
Okay, paragraph may be used more than once. And the, this extreme sport is the most popular one. Okay, let me check. Yeah, I think what is uh, different is the, the words are used hugely. Uh, if we don't, if we move out hugely popular extreme sport around the wall and uh, the world famous uh, extreme sport are the same. Okay? But hugely make a difference, I think. Mm hmm okay. <clears throat> So, well, what's your idea? Will you choose A or D? I will choose D here. It's a huge D. That's right. I'm not 100% sure about that. Yeah, it's okay. No problem. You know, we, we can think about it. Uh, yeah, the world's famous extreme sport. And next one is hugely. And then nowadays, skateboarding is a hugely popular extreme sport around the world. Okay, the world famous and around the world. Around the world is like an internationally, right? Extremely sports internationally is mainly used for reaction for transport. Okay, so both are possible, but we have to choose appropriate one, which will be more appropriate. Let's think together. And to Zuzu. Well, for me, I choose D. Mm hmm. Okay. <clears throat> How about you, Hantu? I have to choose the D because I'm hugely popular. Mm, okay. Yeah. So, uh, no, uh, we don't we don't say that your answer is incorrect yeah okay your answer is wrong but we better choose appropriate one right a and d and then uh a is also talking about their favorite uh sorry what is it wolf worst favorite extreme and skateboarding is also talking about about around the world with it internationally extremely spot around the world so we better choose at the appropriate one Okay, the only, only one difference among them is hugely popular. Okay, that's okay, Jia. Yeah. yeah, you're welcome. Okay, and then now let's go to next one. Oh, where's my question? Okay, number, uh, number three. What did you choose number three? I. I. Yeah, why do you say so I? Because it, it just said that type space so I choose that also the question is talk about the not able to move around easily so yeah I think mm. that's suitable mm. okay anybody else so Same I chose. yeah I heard I heard I chose what I chose C but um, I don't have you don't have any points, any reason? Yeah, uh, yeah, I did the same way as Andrew. <laughs> like a mini, mini, mini? What is that? I, I don't, I don't know. I don't yeah. know. So, uh, Andrew, 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 what does it say? Andrew, what does it say? Uh, mini, mini, mo what, what is it? I don't know how to say Oh, any mini, mini, mo. I like it. In, in Burmese, and Nanda talk, right? Yeah, I think like when uh, helpful in exam test. Yes. When you don't know the answer, you use that method. <laughs> okay. But you know, you better have a reason and you better have the exact exact reason why you choose it, right? Okay. Yeah, but in all seriousness, Jess, these mm. questions are really complicated to choose the mm. exact correct answer with reasoning because mm. uh, the way they describe are uh, similar. Not sure. No, no, uh, okay. Not very clear enough. Yeah. And tricky. you have many options to choose and tricky, yeah. Okay, tricky. So number three said that involved not being able to move around easily. Okay, so it says I. Let's see I. What does it say? 
Uh, if you like scuba diving, but you are looking for extreme experience, cave diving might be the sport, the same as diving. But you are exploring an underwater cave, relying on the artificial lights and your ability to maneuver in tight space. But actually, but I don't, I don't see any similar words in here, right? It is not direct, but it is said mm -hmm. uh, like imply information. It has imply your ability to. Um, Mm. In tight places. Okay, in tight like places, that. of course. In yes. tight places, it's not being able to move. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, I learned my lesson for the day. Okay, good job. So, number four. How about four? I think G. B. Yep. B or G? G. G. Why do you say so, G? Because it's the question said that not as risky. So, also in the G, it said, although it's not as dangerous or extreme as it was. So I thought that it's gonna be G. Yeah. Hello, is anyone different idea? No one yet? Okay, yep. So uh, the answer is G. How about five? Five question is was first used as an alternative to another sport. F. 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 Why do you say so? F. Mountain boarding is basically the like off road skateboarding, like as mentioned, like you know, alternative to another. Mm hmm. How about others? Do you have different answer? Whereas first you as an alternative, alternative to another sport. Why you said F? Actually, uh, I don't understand that question. Mm, okay, good job. So you read a modified cable with huge field style. Okay, Zuzu and Mintan, you answer number F, right? Right, teacher. Indeed. Hmm. Okay, indeed. So why, why did you choose self? And the last words and question is? An alternative to another spot. Hmm, alternative to another spot. Okay, so why you say so F has alternative and other sports? Yeah, it said that, you know, the mountain boarding is basically like off-road skateboarding. Mm. It's just saying came like you know it just came down for skateboarding yes oh okay mm -hmm. yeah uh, it means like mountain boarding is the same as road skateboarding mm. so it's like like alternating movement right yes yeah mm -hmm. yeah how about number eight how about eight h yeah Oh, why do you say so? Why do you think? Because it doesn't sound a bit jamming, it's like skydiving. Mm -hmm. It's an alternative. Okay, H. Let me see H. Uh, base jumping is like, like skydiving. A up, you jump from a fixed position, not an airplane, and don't have much time to open pressure. Making it much more dangerous. Base jump can be from building, cliff, and bridge. Jumpers have seconds to open their parachute and off. I think that one is not talking about the alternative changes. Uh, this is, you know, comparison. Okay, base jumping and skydiving. It's like it's like it's like comparison. Hanto, can you get it? Yes, I got it. Okay. <clears throat> yes, so let me ask you a question. Why do you, uh, how about D? Is it related to the question? Jay, you mean for question five? Okay, question number five. Where's first use as an alternative to another sport? 
don't you think how about G here it said that skateboarding originated in California 1940 uh, one surfer looked to entertain them so one waves were flat now the skateboarding is a huge popular extreme sport around the world the main uh, reaction and transport the the annual sports competition is game has some popular skateboarding and stuff yeah only just the first sentence skateboarding is originated in california in 1941 suffer look to entertain themselves one waves with flat yeah, i think your one would be more appropriate as uh, the meaning with the alternative mm -hmm. So what is the meaning of alternative? I think we should know here the meanings of alternative here. It means uh, interchangeable. Mm. Uh, alternative means instead of choosing this one uh, they choose the other one between two things like mm. so like alternative like that so like you choose the one thing from two things uh, i only understand in that version okay so which one is more appropriate Uh, I think your one will be more appropriate. Hmm. So your friend will ask you why you choose number D. Which I, I have to explain for that. Mm hmm But they want to hear it again, I think. So we shall I I Actually, you know, here is skateboarding. Uh, okay, number D is talking about skateboarding, and then F is talking about mountain boating, right? Mountain boating is basically like off-road skateboarding. I think that is more concerning with comparison instead of alternative for number F. Okay, because it's like... Okay. Um, Alternate, um, alternative is, you know, here, these... D for me is I think why I choose D is skateboarding originated in California. Okay, it's skateboarding it's, it's originated in California because why you they why they do it? Uh, it doesn't become a sport first, right? And only just they do that for entertainment. Okay, so here he, he said that surfer look to entertain themselves one waves were flat. Okay, and then later one they change to like a, a, a sport like they and then they think that okay it should be like a sport and then they moved okay they celebrate they, get, they how should i say they give a name like a, a sport like a skateboarding sport for them okay so you can choose as you like so how about andre you know and two Hello, Andrea, are you there? Yes, I'm clueless. <laughs> Which one you are choosing, D or F? The alternative one, right? Yes. Um... Why not choose both here? Yeah? Can, can I not choose both? Okay, but you know, in the exam, you have to choose only one. Oh, mm. Mm. yeah, I have no yes. idea. Okay, but <laughs> what if, what if, first. There, you know, in, in between those, what if there's just like one correct one? Okay, let me point out one more thing. But, it, but it's totally work in my Burmese school. Okay. <laughs> 
but you know you are not attending primary schools anymore that's why but you know one thing we can we can point out one more thing can you look at the question again you know the question set the first right first use first and then if we look for the similar meaning in first is like uh, he has originated Okay. Yeah, I think D is the right word, uh, the right answer. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So what a version that no problem. If you think F, uh, F is F may be appropriate one, but we have to uh approach more appropriate appropriate possibility, right? So because we have to compare with the question, the answer. So you can you can get the correct one, right? So I don't mean that my one is correct. Uh, I don't mean your one is incorrect. But you can recheck it again, right? Yes, yeah. Yes, that would be fine, right? Okay, so and the next one is six. Six is is accessible to all. Okay. The e. extremes. Sorry. I choose E. E. Okay. Why do you say so? E. Because it said uh, anybody can participate in. Hmm. Okay. Because of all here, right? Yep. Hmm. Uh, number six said is accessible to all. Yeah. This is a lot of the questions of the the question looks easy but tricky, right? <clears throat> Okay, yeah, so number six is E, correct. And then how about seven? Age. 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 Yeah, why do you say so? And then Minda, what's your what's your answer, please? Um A. A. Okay, why do you say so A? Uh Zizu, why do you say so H? Okay. Because uh, in age, jumpers have seconds to open their parachutes. And also, like, um, don't have much time to open a parachute. So it requires a... Uh, react quickly. Yeah, they yeah. need to. Yes, they need to react exactly. quickly. Uh-huh. So how about Minta? Why did you choose? Why did you choose A? Attacks of agility and time. I think mm. that is not. Ah, oh, the test of. Okay, seven is the word favorite, extremely sport, and test of agility and timing. Several types of surfing. Um, yep, okay, when we compare with age, age where is age? When we compare with age, uh, age said that base jumping is like is skydiving. Is up, you jump from a fixed position, not an airplane, and don't have much time to open a parachute, making it much more dangerous, you know? So this is talking about, you have to react the situation very quickly, right? But for, uh, about, what is it? Surfing, right? It doesn't mention how you must react quickly, right? So do, you better choose H. Okay, okay, sure, I get it. Yes. So next it's one. Like quickly, right? I mean, mm -hmm. React quickly. You have oh, yeah. you need to highlight react quickly. Okay, now it's eight. Is feature in a yearly event. What is it? Feature. Mm, why do you say so? And the Lazaga words, do you see Lazaga words in the question? A yearly event. A yearly event. Uh huh. Where where is it? A yearly event in the similar meaning in D. And the annual sports competition. Okay. Good job. Right. If you can learn like this, you can. You are approaching to get more points. One of day after day. Yep. Okay. So number nine. 
Okay, what's the answer for number nine? F. Oh, off. Okay, why do you say so off? Um, it is advised that people simply enjoy the ride as doing anything more would be too difficult and dangerous. So, it is advised that we shouldn't do any more stunts. Hmm. Okay, let me check. We shouldn't involve doing any stunts, right? And here I've said that this involved jumping from a tall structure while connected to a large elastic cup. The tall structure is usually a fixed object, such as a building, bridge, or crane, commercial being a jumping beginner. This no way. Uh, any. Oh, no, sorry. An F, right? Suzu, you said F, right? Sorry, sorry. Yes. It is advised that people simply enjoy. Okay, simply enjoy, no stand, right? Simply enjoy the right as to in anything more would be too difficult and dangerous. Yes. Okay, because of simply enjoy the right. You put it yourself, right? Okay, number 10. C. C. Okay, why do you say so? C is the answer. It's an enjoyable extension of an ability that most people already have. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See? Okay, is there any less good words in the question? Commonly heard escape. Commonly have to escape. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, is there anyone who has different answer from Zuzu? Or is it the same with you? Hello? Uh, the same with her. Oh, okay, so we will, we will skip, okay? Number 10 is C. Right, so have you finished 11 to 20? Hello? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Okay, so now let's move on to 11 to 20. What is the... Sure. Yep. After this, can you give, give us a hint or a knowledge of like doing these uh, comprehension questions, you know? Your knowledge on this, you know, do... Uh, it's like the way you use it and like the format. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. you mean how to how to approach the answering question? Yes, yeah. Like hmm. I want to like uh, be oh, more okay. advanced on this. You know. Oh, yeah. I think I have already discussed while I was discussing with you. I think I have already given you know how I look for the answer. Right. I read the question first, and after that, think about the lexical words in the question, and after that, go back to the answer. And then, so, you know, like, you know, we discussed, like, um, maybe A and what, right? Okay, your friends answer and the mind win. Uh, at the time, we have to think about the, what the question points. So we have to approach the question, right? That's why we have to choose more appropriate one to the question. That's it. But, you know, that's it. The way I practice with you like this is maybe, 70% correct. 70% is okay. But I don't mean 100%, right? But sometimes it may have uh, some tricky thing as well. Sure. Do we need to like read like in like total focus on the paragraph, 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 paragraph? I, paragraph. I no, no, no. No. That, that's practicing skill is when you were a child, when you were young. Okay, you can practice like that, but you know, um, especially, especially when you uh, become, when you study international courses, it's different from that. Maybe you know, Burmese, okay, Burmese, uh, Burmese, uh, how shall I say, courses, okay, Burmese courses are like, um, almost like that, right? You have to read the passage and then read the question and after that answer it directly, 
right? But but international courses are a little different from them. For them is you have to use your thinking skill, right? And for Burmese courses, I, I don't mean that they are not good. Okay, they are good in some way, right? Not every time. Right, so you better practice, read the question first. So I think I have already remind you, you must be opposite from previous time, right? Previous time, you read that passage first and answer question. Now, you better read question first and then go back to the answer. That is to save your time, okay? I don't mean you are incorrect, you are wrong You if you read the passage first. But you know, you have to work in the time limitation, right? Um, so, um, do you, how, how long do you think that we should be doing these, like, and, and if we are actually in the exam, like, you know, for this, for the comprehension questions, I mean. Okay, I don't get it. Maybe, you know, for comprehension, I think comprehension, they have different question types. You know, I think, you know, you when the more you practice, the more you will realize the nature of the question so you can know how to work on that. Right? Okay, sure. Here is 11 and 20. 11 and 20 is, uh, is another different, uh, another types of question, right? Here is you have to say no more than three words. Okay, if you can highlight this one, you better highlight it. Okay, so uh, here instructions said that answer the following question. For each question, you have to write no more than three words taken from one point in the text. Okay, you are not paraphrasing. You have to take a point from the from the passage, right? Gotcha. Okay, so number one, what become oh, less popular in 2013? Yes. Can I ask you something about HM? Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I want to know that is you know, how many hours is that available in the exam? For reading and writing, you have got two hours. Okay, reading and writing, you have two hours. Sometimes three read the, three read the passage and two writing. Sometimes four read the passage and one writing. Uh, it depends on the question, the, the nature of the question. Yep. So for the writing, it is like the letters or articles or a summary, right? Um, sometimes article, sometimes email. Uh, email, but even though it is email, it is the same as letter, right? But nowadays, uh, because of, you know, the situation, we have to say email. So email is the same as letter. <clears throat> I was about to say we haven't learned emails. <laughs> Sorry? Mm -hmm. I was about to say we haven't learned email. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, email is the same as letter. Because you know, email is a letter is the a letter is, you know, which we sent by the post office, right? Email is we sent by the electronic mail. That's it. Okay, so now let's go to eleven. What become less popular in 2013? Um, sales of CDs. Sales of CDs. Okay, sales of CD. And then second one, what are festivals in the UK currently experiencing? Live performance. Live performance. Okay, so how about other? Live performances. Live performance or performances? Performances. Oh, okay. Can you mention where is the answer? First paragraph, fit line. Mm -hmm. The question, let me, let me see the question. What are festivals in the UK currently experiencing? Uh, okay, no, no. Can you tell us again where, which, which, which paragraph? Second paragraph or first paragraph? First paragraph. Hmm. First curve, first paragraph, line number? Fit, fit line. One, two, three, four, five. Suzu, is that the same with you? Yep. Mm. So how about other? Do you have different one? Shinda, and two. 
Oh, I had to have been dead. How about Shin Dead? Same with Zuzu, Nino, and Zuzu, Nino, and me. And Nino, Hantu, and me. Oh, uh, the same with Zuzu? Same with Zuzu and Nino. Yeah. Oh, okay. Zuzu and Nino. So your answer is also live performance? Yep. Just to share. Okay. Yeah, number 13, by having a festival, what becomes better known? Locality. Locality. Sorry? The locality. Same the lo here. Okay. Locality or the locality, both are correct. Yes. And then how about 13? All oh, 13 stand, right? 14, what is the main focus of organizer? Audience number. What is the main focus of organizer? Audience number. Okay, so how about others? Hello? Actually, I'm not sure about the answer, so I skip it. Oh, okay, yes. So, how about others? Um, subsidizing charity events. Hmm. Okay, so you and you, you and Nuno have different answer. Okay, let us discuss about that. Why you two have uh, your own answer? Main focus of organizer. What is the main focus of organizer? So, Zuzu, where is which paragraph? The line number, please. So, oh, no, what's your answer, please? Oh, sorry, Susu. Yep. The fourth paragraph, the last sentence. Fourth paragraph, one, two, three, fourth paragraph, the last sentence. <clears throat> Sufficient income to pay the bills and keep the festival going, but many of them use profitable events to subsidize less popular or more experimental work or community and charity event. You mean that the one? Yes, teacher. Okay, so organizer needed to generate sufficient income to pay the bills and keep the festival going. Uh huh. Okay. I'm also not really sure about that because there are so many possibilities that I can answer. Right. Here you better say you better think about the main focus. What is main focus of the organizer? Here is a needed to generate. Needed to generate. Generate is not. Uh, how should I say? Focusing. Is it? Is it focusing? I don't think so. Yeah, so let us listen to no 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 yeah. Why why do you why do you so what's your answer and can you tell us where it is? And um, fourth paragraph, second line. Second line? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Second line, you mean uh where where is it? The quality of the experience. Is it well, what's your answer, please? Please wait, chair. Yeah. Oh, yes, we are waiting for you. Yep, no problem. Take your time. <sighs> Sorry. So, uh, they were concerned with audience number. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Do you see the word above all? Okay. Okay. Uh, organizer were interested in the music and while they were concerned with audience number, the quality of the experience, they were not primarily commercially oriented. In terms of the hardest, uh, how should I say? Practicalities of organizing a festival. Right, so for me, is organizers were interested in the music. Interested is, you know, 
like similar meaning, not directly, you know, directly the same. Uh, it's they are they must give, you know, they must give time and they must uh, focus to that one. Okay, that's why I would, for me, okay, I would choose the music. Because of focus, okay, the question said that what is the main focus of the organizer? Okay. And Suzu answer, organizer needed to generate blah, blah, blah is, you know, uh, but many of them, no. yep, not that one. Uh, many of them used profitable events to subsidize that one. Mm -mm. Um, I chose that because um, the question said uh, the main focus. So, in the sentence, many of them. So the majority of the organizers use the events Profit to provide. Profitable. Event. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Use profitable events to subsidize less popular or more experimental work, community and charity events. Okay. Yeah, it is also appropriate one. Okay. So there are two possibility, but you can have, you can think about it, right? Uh, for me is, okay, organizers were above all, because I were, the word above all. Okay. Uh, because it said that a recent research study explored festival from the perspective of organizer, audience, and musician to see what makes festival work. Okay, so it is related to the previous paragraph. 50 festivals were observed, you held, uh, where was the interview? Uh, interviews held with organizer, musician, and audience member. Okay, so organizers were above all interested in the music. Okay, that's why I choose uh, maybe related to the previous one and this one. Uh, above all, that's why I choose in use the music. But for you, you can think about it yourself. Okay, two possibility. Okay, so next one, number 15. Hello, let's go to 15. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> I couldn't find the answer. Uh huh. Yes. So how about others? Sounds and lights. Okay, sounds and lights. Yeah, that is correct. Sounds and lights here. Okay, one, two, three, four. Food program, right? Yes, teacher. Hmm. Yeah. And then sixteen. Upper sixteen. Question is: How is the composition of festival audience described? Actually, teacher, I had a hard time trying to figure it out what the answer was. Mm hmm. Okay. So, how about others? But I answered highly mixed. Hmm, highly mixed. Yeah, where, where is it? Where's the answer? Ah, oh, the fit paragraph. The festival audience was highly mixed. Hmm. Yeah, that's is correct one. Highly mixed. Hi, everybody. Are you still got it? Yes, DJ. Okay, good job. Now let's move on to 17. Which type of media is becoming more important? I think yeah, everybody knows that. Which media? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. Hmm. Which media is more important right now? Social media. Social of course, media. of course, social media, right. 18. What is your answer for 18? Connection. 
Mm. Connection, yes. Where's the answer? Last paragraph and fourth line. Last paragraph means the fifth paragraph. Fifth paragraph, right? Yes, yeah. Mm. Yes, connection. How about 19? Hello, what is the answer for 19? Hello. Um, play and mm. usual songs. Okay, play. Unusual songs. Actually, play. the word unusual is in, in the paragraph, but uh -huh. I use the synonym. Because okay, number eight. Yeah, they uh songs or styles they would not normally perform, so I okay. used the same. You you better choose sounds. Okay, sounds or style. You can enter sounds or style and sounds and style like that. Yes. Okay, so now it's nineteen. Ah, oh, nineteen is done, right? So twenty. What is 20? Built on a commonly held skill. Is it enhancing creativity? Hmm, yes. Where where's the answer? For a second. Second um, right? the seventh paragraph. Yeah, the seventh four. paragraph. Yeah. Fit four fit six seven. Yeah, second one. Seven one. Okay, seven one, the full line, right? Yes, teacher. Well, it's as an opportunity to enhance creativity, right? Right. Okay, so the question is built on a commonly held skill, right? So built on is the same with enhance, right? So you can answer enhance creativity or only just creativity is enough. <clears throat> okay, I think that's all for today, 20. And then if you are not done please go keep on doing 21 and 50. yep yeah can you tell me the answer for 15 and 16. uh 15 and 16. 15 is songs and lights songs and lights okay assistant is highly mixed got it Dishe. thank you okay yeah Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye, Chair. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.